Hey guys, it's Joe and welcome back to my channel. Today is April 7, 2023 and it's Good Friday and haalis kami nila Mama and Papa kasama si na Ate Aliana and her partner and yung pamangkin namin na si Julian and si Saint Card. Ayan, so magbibisita iglasya kami. Pero bago yan, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell button para lagi kang updated. Like mo na rin ang video na ito and share it to your friends and follow me on my social media accounts that I'll be linking on the screen and on the description box. If you are a Filipino Roman Catholic, I am sure alam mo na to. So visita iglasya or church visitation is normally done every Holy Thursday ng gabi but okay din naman on Good Friday which is gagawin namin today but make sure lang daw na hindi siya aabot or lalagpas ng 3pm hindi ko lang alam yung reason bakit ganon anyway visita iglesia is yung magbe-visit ka to either 14 or 7 Roman Catholic churches and to pray as part of the Lenten tradition. Hindi ko alam if ano yung mga simbahan na pupuntahan namin today but I am sure na we will go to 7 churches. Ayan, so sabay-sabay natin i-figure out kung ano yung mga simbahan na pupuntahan natin today. And so I will bring you guys with us as we do the Visita Iglesia. So let's go! So we are here at Harrow Cathedral, formerly known as the Harrow Metropolitan Cathedral. Ayan, right behind me. So, napakita ko na to sa isa sa mga video ko as I celebrate my birthday. And today, this is the first church na pinuntahan namin for Visita Iglesia. And this church right here is famous for the Feast of... Our Lady of Candles or the Nuestra Señora de la Candelaria. So we will get inside to pray and then see what the interior of the Harapatiro office. Let's go! Andito naman tayo sa Shrine of St. Vincent Ferrer Church in Leganes, Iloilo. Ayan, so look at that Mayo Classical Church. So, magdadasal tayo sa bahay nyo po and let's see kung ano yung meron sa loob na church.
are here at St. Clement's Church in La Paz. And this church is a little modern. Ayan, so we will get inside para magdasal and tignan natin kung ano yung interior ng church nito. So let's go! So, nandito tayo sa first ever church in the city of Iloilo, the San Jose Church. Ayan, so this is the church right behind me. Ito yung simbahan na merong replica ng Santo Nino de Cebu. And we will get inside to pray and let's see kung anong meron sa loob ng church nito. Let's go! the new Oton Church ayan, right there sa likod ko the church is a little modern because the old one was destroyed by an earthquake noong 1948 and yeah, ito yung new Oton Church ngayon, so pupunta tayo sa loob at magdadasal and titignan din natin kung ano yung ma-offer na interior design ng church na ito so let's go As the old cotton church was destroyed during the earthquake, ito na lang yung natira. Ayan, so ginawa siyang... prayer area or the grotto ayan so ito yung ito na lang yung the only part ng old baton church na natira nung sira nung earthquake ng 1948 Andito tayo ngayon sa Santo Nino de Arevalo Parish and this is located sa Villa Arevalo, Iloilo. Ayan, so this church is best known as the home of the third oldest statue of Santo Nino or the statue of Child Jesus. So let's get inside, magdadasal tayo and let's see what this church offers. Let's go! Thank you. 
down to the last church and of course yung last is the model church or the saint anne parish church and this church is very close to me kasi i'm living in the mola district ayan so always ko tong nakikita and also i have a lot of childhood memories in this church because i used to serve here yeah when i was in grade school until high school ayan so this church is also known for being the feminist church because of female saints na makikita mo sa loob ng church and also i love the gothic architectural design of the church and this church also was once visited by dr jose pirizal so let's go get inside and magdasal tayo and i will show you how majestic the mola church is And that was our visita iglesia for this year's Holy Week and sana nag-enjoy kayo as much as we did. So, the visita iglesia tradition of our family actually started nung last year lang. And I am so glad na nasundan siya this year. Kasi nung 2020 and 2021, hindi kami nakapag-visita iglesia kasi nga may pandemic and the years prior the pandemic hindi rin namin nagagawa ang visita iglesia kasi wala pa kami means of transportation that time so wala pa kami sasakyan i mean wala pang sasakyan yung sister ko so syempre ang hirap din naman mag visita iglesia if nagko-commute ka lang using a public transport alam naman natin na wala masyadong biyahe ang mga public transportation every holy week so yeah i am so glad that we were able to practice the visita iglesia last year and nagawa namin ulit this year so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did and maraming salamat again for all your love and support and thank you for watching see you on my next vlog